So I ventured out to get some hay today for the critters. You can see it on the trailer back behind the truck. And I knew I was gonna need some help loading the hay, but I didn't know that I was gonna need help for something else. But thankfully, Colby at the Max Happy Homestead was Johnny on the spot. Look what I found, y'all. I found me a Mac. I'm coming. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's been too long since we've been out to the Max Happy Homestead and I come through the woods and holy mackerel, their trees are all gone. <laughs> Not all of them, but quite a few. So I've been in search of some hay and a friend of mine, Tony Laird, had some, some hay right, right, not too far from the house. But he said his problem was he, he didn't have his tractor. His tractor was out of the camp. So he couldn't load it and I thought, well, I, I can't bring my tractor and load it. And I get a text message from our friend Kobe over to Max Happy Homestead. And he said, man, those hay bales are about 40 feet from my back gate. Something like that. So uh, Kobe is quite the gentleman and it was kind enough to uh, bring his tractor out the back gate and load up some hay bales. And also because I'm a moron, and it's been like 500 degrees below zero. It, it, it never dawned on me to check the air in my trailer tires. And I was in such a hurry to get out of the door to keep Kobe as, as just a short amount of time as I can. And he loaded up the third bale of hay and I thought that ain't gonna never make it. And in genuine homestead uh, hospitality manner, he said, don't worry about it. Go through the gate, meet me at the barn. Me and Aiden <laughs> will pump up your tire. That's right. Well, how did the Max fare in the winter apocalypse of hey, 2021? It was pretty intense, man. Uh, we had a calf and a lamb. I actually had two calves and a lamb. And we've got one lamb that held out, or one sheep that held out. So, so far did okay. Nothing died. So. Yeah, Kobe and I were just chatting offline that, you know, we've got three goats due to kid. One of them especially really due to kid. And we just, it blew our mind that she didn't pick the worst possible night because that's typically what they do. Yeah, she's usually right. She's usually right. So. And I'm excited. Kobe has got me fired up because as I came over here by the barn to, for him to pump up my stupid low tires, I passed his beehives and the bees are everywhere. And so yeah. that excites me. I can't wait to get back to Alderman Farms and check ours and see if they're out enjoying the weather. I am a happy man today. I got bees active at the hive. I love it. So, it looks like my bees survived the winter apocalypse. The 2021 winter apocalypse in Mississippi. They, uh... They got a little aggressive over on me the other side, but <laughs> they've been okay. Did so. they say hello? They said hello. <laughs> they always pick on me, not my family. Always me. So. Well, you'd be ornery too if you'd been locked up <laughs> so, in your bedroom. Yeah, in the... <laughs> that's about right. <laughs> hey, Kobe, thanks so much for taking care of us. Yes, sir. Unprepared old man. Man, you're good. You're thanks. Good. I'll tell you, we've known uh, Kobe and Misty since they were teenagers. Uh, and so it's wild to see... Uh, how far they've come now they they've been doing this for for years they've been living the lifestyle for years uh, they've only been on youtube for a few years now i don't remember when they started youtube but uh so i don't want to make it sound like they overnight have uh have accomplished what they have because it hadn't been overnight but my goodness and they've got it going on with cows and sheep and pigs and bees and gardening and kobe was telling me that <clears throat> right after I left him, or right before I left him, that his next goal is to, to, to become sustainable in feeding his animals. And so they've cleared a lot of timber uh, to, to have additional pasture and area in which they can plant wheat, soybeans, and food for their animals. Uh, I'm telling you, it's really impressive. So if you're not familiar with the Max Happy Homestead, I'll put a link in the description of this video but I want you to go and I want you to go over to their channel, whether you're familiar or not. Let me say it this way. If you're not familiar, go to their channel, subscribe to their channel, ring the bell so you get notifications every time they post a new video and comment on one of their videos saying we sent you. Um, and if you are familiar, 
you still need to go over there to their channel, comment on one of their videos and say, hey, thanks for bailing Tommy out. <laughs> Tommy learned a lesson today. Thanks for bailing him out. So anyway, we appreciate you guys watching us as often as you do. It still blows my mind. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever strikes you. Subscribe to us and ring our bell so you'll get notified of more gripping entertainment and content just like this. Thanks. We'll see you next time at Alderman Farms.